guess this is part two of our uh, outdoor kitchen build. Uh, we've got the stone, the ledger stone, the stacked stone, different names for it. Uh, on there, as you can see, we got the uh, vent. Make sure when you build these, uh, you have venting. We're using a natural gas connection. So you wanna put the vents on the top. Um, liquid propane gas, you would put the vents around the bottom. Um, but we got our vents cut out on there. Our doors are on. Our stone is on. I am now waiting for our countertops in a couple of weeks. The next step, I just got our uh, landscaping lights. It's gonna hook up to our landscape uh, lighting. These are called a hardscape lights. So what they're gonna do is set on here on the front and uh, light this up. We'll have some also on top of the uh, backsplash. So I was waiting for the lights to come in so I could easily wire on the backsplash and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my backer board back on the backsplash so we're ready to measure for our countertops. But these are uh, the lights I went with here. Is that FX Luminaire? I got these from the uh, Lighting Doctor. Um, check him out on YouTube. He's got a lot of great uh, how to if you're interested in landscape lighting. Um, I uh, put a link down below um, where you can find more information about his uh, website and uh, uh, He's got a great how to's if you're interested in any kind of a landscape lighting. Uh, so this is gonna connect to our landscape lighting that goes around the front of the house and in the back of the house. So that's gonna look pretty good once we get lit up. I'll show you that once that gets finished. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with the, uh, this stone that we went with is called a, uh, MSI is the company, MS International is the company who makes it, manufactures it, and this color is Sedona Gray. So that's what the color we went with on this stacked stone. We're gonna go with this uh, granite. This is a steel gray leathered. You can, I'm not sure if you can see that pickup, but it's a leathered finish versus um, this side here you can see is polished. But we're gonna go with a leathered uh, um, finish. So with that, so that's gonna look pretty good, I think. And then we'll have our light. They have different uh, colors as far as these uh, hardscape lights go, so you can match to uh, whatever color you're going with. So check that. There's a ton of options on these uh, color, on these hardscape lights. So all those three together are gonna look pretty good, I think. So. There's just a quick update on our uh, build so far. So I had a uh, landscape lighting that I did a while back and for our house and I had this left over. This is what uh, the lighting doctor calls a try it before you uh, buy it or try it out light, something like that. Anyways, I'll put the link down below. What this is is like a battery pack and you can take you know, a landscape light and move it around like an up light. But for our case, we got our hardscape lights. And then I do is plug it in here to the battery pack. And then you can uh, test out your light and move it around. So it's obviously light right now, but we can uh, move this around and see the best spot for our hardscape light for this uh, project, but this is a great tool to use. Um, check out his website, very reasonable. Um, and yeah, this is great to test it out. Make sure your light's working, know where you want it before you uh, wire it up and screw it down. All right, so just a quick uh, update here. I've got stone on, I got the Hardscape lights kind of laid out where I want. I got the front one screwed in here because that's where our countertop will sit on top of those. It's kind of dark at night. I figured I'll let y'all check it out. Lit up. 
kind of dry set our grill in. Got the uh, backer board on for the backsplash. And then we're just waiting for the uh, granite. And then we're gonna do granite on top of here. I got these duct tape down for now. Uh, and I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I'm probably gonna just dry fit the granite. And then I'll, I gotta get this stone on here so I know how far back this hardscape light's gonna fit flush against the stone. So I wanna kinda just let those loose for now. Got our grill dry fitted with our samples. As you can see here, make sure I was checking the uh, back. I'm gonna adjust this back depth, pull that out a little, little uh, closer in for our countertop. It's the last kind of measurement. It's kind of hard to do with the uh, thickness of the stone and the uh, backer board there, but. Uh, so there it is, just a uh, evening shot of in progress. You can see here, this is our uh, stone we're gonna be using to also go on the backsplash. So uh, there's that, got our lights on. These uh, outlet boxes are adjustable. This little screw here will pull this box in and out because we need to have the thickness of our uh, backer board and the thickness of the uh, stone. So these are easy to adjust the depth of the outlet box. Highly recommend these. I'll put some links down below of all the products I used in this video. So there it is. Looking good. We're just waiting for the granite to come in and uh, put the backsplash on and then we'll be done. All right, so here's a daytime shot. Get you a little better. I just got done uh, putting my uh, sealer on the stone so it's a little wet. This is the uh, sealer I went with to seal the uh, stone. Um, but it's daylight now. You can see these are the uh, hardscape lights that I uh, put in these are from FX and then I, I cut a little notch here uh, with my grinder just to put that wire a little more flush try not to have too much up top so when we get that granite put on there's not too much of a bump level it out a little bit but there's the uh, lights uh, here's the uh, side here where I got the vents on each end what that looks like the uh here's a better shot of the uh, outlet that's adjustable here you can see this uh, screw on the side these move in and out so once i get the stone on here i can set it and put our weatherproof uh, covers on and these two lights i haven't decided quite where i'm going to put those yet um but i will Get that figured out as soon as I get the granite on there. So there's just a uh, quick daylight recap of our uh, stonework. Here's the uh, here's our garden. Here's the other end over here. You can see this end too. process of uh, putting our stones on on the backsplash getting the lights positioned get that corner over there sneak peek of our countertop just went in today so getting close there's the uh, mid progress of the uh, 
backsplash. Getting it cut around the outlets. All right, so I got the counter top on our granite. Uh, we went with the steel gray, uh, which is a leathered, we went with the leathered finished. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on there or not, but it's got a little texture and uh, it's not the polished side. Looks really good. I just got done uh, putting the uh, backsplash on and it lo looks a little wet still because I just finished uh, putting the sealer on there. I got our outlet covers also on there. Waterproof GCFI outdoor rated uh, electrical outlets. These are our um, hardscape lighting at night. This uh, granite, uh, I recommend y'all shop around quite a bit. I went to quite a few places, drove all over the place. Um, I paid uh, $32 a square foot installed. Uh, most places weren't charging just a flat 30, uh, square foot price. I, uh, a lot of places were charging for the slab and then a lot of labor and then they charge for the cutouts and etc etc but uh i got quoted crazy numbers three four times the price that i paid installed uh versus what we paid on this one 32 dollars a square foot for the granite still gray leathered one cut out there looks great the um stack stone the um stone here on the front i'll put all the links down below where we purchased everything but i paid uh for the uh, stone uh i think it was a little less than four dollars a square foot um got that at home depot actually most of the uh, place most of the different colors i was looking at was eight to ten dollars a square foot and even one granite company i got a quote from and they were charging uh twenty dollars a square foot for this stack stone so uh you know shop around do your homework make sure you uh find the best price there's a big varying difference between uh, prices of supplies and materials. Um, so there is that. The next step is I'm gonna go ahead and get our slider grill back in and uh, hook up the gas, put it together and we'll be ready to start cooking. So there it is. So close, got our vents here. I'm not sure if I showed that to vent prop have to have vents for the uh natural gas so there's no build up of gas so let me get the grill in place and uh we will be set to get cooking one thing i'll mention is our uh granite if you're curious that's come out to be a, a seven inches deep and we had our granite cut at 30 and a half inches you can see how they uh notched it around right here and it goes under the grill all right so here's the uh final outcome of our do it ourself uh, built in grill, outdoor kitchen, whatever you want to call it. Got the grill hooked up. Checked it for leaks. Push that in there. That's the little drip pan. There's the grill. Went with the Blaze 40 inch grill. Countertop looks great. Stoneworks done. Open up the grill here. A little windy windy today we got a uh, searing burner on this side and we got four more burners total of five burners and then a rotisserie on the back side we got the rotisserie we'll put on there fire it up here and uh, burn off the new season it up and it's time to start cooking so uh, thanks for watching Hopefully this gave you some ideas on how you could build your own and save a ton of money. Uh, at least 50% or more, depending on who you go with. 
up to 80% you could save depending on what kind of contractor you're looking to go with. But minimum 50% savings, doing it yourself. Um, so there it is. Links down below on our items that we used. Comment, subscribe, like, and hey, make it a great day. It's uh, evening time. I figure I'll show you all the night view. Um, there you have it. Lighting. Just got done rotisserie the chickens. Check this out. Maiden voyage. Got a little mess over here. But uh, I changed out the red lights to this amber color. Here's the inside. Plenty of light to cook when it's dark outside. Especially when the time changes and it's like five o'clock and it's pitch black. So there's plenty of light here. This great thing about this uh, countertop space, I can lay out this uh, whole rotisserie spit rod and have plenty of room to work with it and uh, put it over here, pull out whatever we're cooking, lay it down, and uh, we have plenty of space, prep space. Not used to the space to countertop space, so that was excellent to say the least. So, there's just the uh, night version of our uh, outdoor kicking area. So, make it a great day.